Obu dash kwana ashin. 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 Means dragonfly. In Ojibwe Moen, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, hey, Buju, Obu Dash Kwanashin, Dragonfly, is our Ojibwe word of the day, the Obu Dash Kwanashin. And today, I would like to tell the story of Obu Dash Kwanashin. Oh, and how. He found uh, his uh, secret power. <laughs> <laughs> so back in the days of the grandfathers, Obudash Kwanashin, not a lot of people know this, huh. but uh, he's cousins to Mamengwa, oh, really? the butterfly. And ho, oh, ah, the butterfly, Mamengwa. Mamengwa would float around all over the countryside, just going with the wind. And Mamengwa, was known to be the king of the beautiful, I guess the monarchs were the king of their kind. Yeah, huh? Everyone, everyone looked in awe and beauty at the, uh, the effortlessness of Mamengwa to know his purpose. But back in the days of the grandfathers, Dragonfly, uh, <laughs> he was kind of looked down on. <laughs> by his cousins, the butterflies. Because uh, he wasn't so good looking. He was skinny and uh, unattractive. <laughs> and the Mamengwa used to tease him. He'd be like, Obudash uh, Kwanajzin, you're skinny and you're ugly. Oh, not and even. Your, your, pet, your wings, they look like a horse flies. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so, geez. Little dragonfly was getting just depressed. So he went out in the great forest and he went on a fast. He didn't have any food or water for four days and four nights. Oh. Uh. And he put out his tobacco and he lit his pipe and he prayed. And he said, Kitchi Manadu, uh, we took Kawishan, help me. You have made me such an ugly cousin to the butterfly. <laughs> Why have you made me so, so skinny and so ugly? Aww. And why have you made my wings so, I don't know, so bad? Oh, jeez. Why couldn't you have made me like the eagle, where I could soar with the wind? Even my cousins, the uh, butterflies, they, they soar around so effortlessly. Oh, I forgot to say this. Back in the day, uh, dragonflies didn't buzz around like they do today. They flew like eagles, but not very well. Mm. <laughs> and so uh, they just kind of hopped around. And uh, he goes, Kitchi Manadu, can you explain to me why? Why did you do this? And Kitchi Manadu came down in a dream. And he said, Obudash Kwanashin, I have made you exactly the way you should be. And do not mistake what you have for being shortcomings, for what is your great power. You see, all along you have been trying to be a butterfly, but you are not a butterfly. And you, you know, you covet the eagle's wings, but you are not an eagle. And uh, let me tell you something. You are closer to a hummingbird than to anything else. I gave you those wings not to soar. I gave you those wings to make a song. Hey, Stephen, how you doing today? I'm doing quite well, Natasha. How are you? In my bedroom, I 
winter came from beyond the moon and he said he was here to learn and to teach that which was beyond our reach his eyes were huge and his mouth was small he moved like liquid and was so scared I was screaming inside He gave me a smoke It eased my mind We spoke about space and the lost earthling lover I felt kind of strange when he asked How's your mother? How's she been? I want you to go deep inside yourself and you find that perfect note. And when you find that perfect note, something will be awakened in you and you'll understand everything. Hmm. Well, a little dragonfly woke up from his dream and he goes, a perfect note. What's he talking about? <laughs> so he started to hum. Hmm, 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 hmm. He started to hum the, uh, I dream a genie theme song. <laughs> la, 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 la. And just like that, he hit it. <laughs> His wings started to vibrate. They had never vibrated like that before. And what happened? <laughs> he started to hover. Oh, <laughs> and then pretty soon, <laughs> he could zip around back and forth. Oh, uh, it was like he had a superpower. <laughs> and the Momengua comes by and he's like, Oh, wow, uh, look at Dragonfly. What's going on with you? And he goes, I'll tell you what's going on with me. <laughs> Whoops. White man came from across the sea. He brought us pain and misery. He killed our tribes, he killed our creed, he killed our game for his own needs. We fought him hard, we fought him well, out on the plains we gave him hell. The man he came, too much for creed, or oh, will we ever be set free?
Riding through dust clouds and barren waste Galloping hard on the plains Chasing the redskins back to their holes Fighting them at their own game Murder for freedom, the stab in the back Women and children are cowards attack Murder for freedom, the stab in the back Women and children are cowards attack Run to the hills Run for your to the hills iron maiden <laughs> and uh oh, what? <laughs> he uh he started to just buzz around mamengua and so uh <laughs> um that is when he understood that his wings were meant to create a vibration that would let him fly in a brand new way Oh, what? and uh, that is the story of Obudashkwan uh, Nishin, Obudashkwan Nishin, the uh, dragonfly. And it's really interesting. I was looking into this. I was watching this video on bumblebees and dragonflies and beetles. They don't fly like, like you think. Yeah. Huh? Even in super fast winds, a bee flies a perfectly straight line they can just you know the wind doesn't affect it and if you've ever been out on a on a boat on a lake mm -hmm. the uh, dragonfly you can be going 20 miles an hour you know, windy and dragonfly will just kind of <laughs> right yeah, with the huh? boat mm. <laughs> i don't know it's crazy mm -hmm. so yeah
But I never meant one word, I never meant one word, I never meant one word I said. I never meant one word, I never meant one word, I never meant one word I said. And I'm so sorry. I never treat you like a bad again. I never meant one word. I never meant one word. I never meant one word. I said. I used to sit up at night just so I could watch ya. And I wrote on my bedroom wall, Michael loves Natasha. But I never meant one word, I never meant one word, I never meant one word, I said. about Ojibwe language and culture. My name is Natasha, this is Michael Lyons, and I will see you again. Kigawabamin! Minawa! Hawa! Oh, that was really pretty. Well, other story, kids. You, you may not know what your gifts are just yet, but go out on a fast and pray to get you Manadu and something may be revealed. Yeah, huh? All right. Well, hey, uh, I'm going to cut it off there. Thank you for watching. Miigwech kanawabi egg. Buju nara buju. A podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am nana buju. And I will see you again. Kigawaba min. Minawa. Awa. <laughs> hey, sweetie, do you want to remind them about Patreon and PayPal? Yeah, sure. Hey everybody, if you'd like to support the show, click the link to um, PayPal. You can leave us a tip, or you can support us every month on Patreon. And we'll send you a gift, a little book called Like Snow on Skin, for everyone who signs up on Patreon. All right, well, thank you so much. I will see you again. Gigawaba min, minawa, ho. How was that? Oh, that was just good. Nah. <laughs>
and culture. <laughs>